If you wish to be your own person, to have your own ego, then don't give in to what others call normal. Only you can defend your will and desires, your beliefs and morals. Because in this unjust world formed of incomplete thoughts, your ego is what makes you who you are. Should the world deny your ego and refuse to accept it, then prove to the world that you live by your own rules. Are you awake? Then show me. Show me your ego. Get ready! Here I go. Failure. What a shame. Uh, the world truly is a cruel and irrational place. <laughs> and this little one just isn't good enough.
Well, Mr. New Student, your name, if you would. I see. How terribly charming. That's a wonderful name. Welcome to Shin Mikado Academy. I am Yoru, otherwise known as Yordine. Now, now. You can let your guard down. I just wanted to chat, is all. Especially with someone as extraordinary as you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. They'll pertain to your ego. And the seven desires that make up your will. What does school life mean to you? Well, you only live once. How about in class? Do you studiously take notes during lectures? Your teacher lauds the teacher's pet despite their bad grades. What do you think of this? It seems like your friend is about to mess something up. What do you do? You're standing in line for... Hmm, let's say ramen. Someone cuts in front of you, but you've been waiting for ages. What do you do? You need money to fulfill your goals, but you're flat broke. What do you do? Have you ever looked at a naughty website? On your phone? Or your desktop, maybe? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Okay, let's say you're at a buffet. How do you decide what to eat? A situation has already been settled, but someone insists on disagreeing. How do you respond? Someone you hate is loved by everyone around you. What do you think about that? You're forced to take on a leadership role. How do you make your decisions? Would you say you've ever truly loved someone? If you had extra free time and money, how would you spend it? What would you do if someone started spreading baseless rumors about you? Is there someone or something you care for with every fiber of your being? Choose one of these sets of words, would you? Your desire for sloth surpasses all others. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. You're rational and quick-witted, and thus you're always looking for the easy way out. But when you run up against a challenging problem, you tend to give up and run away. As a whole, your desires are all quite strong. You have a firm sense of self and a stable ego. And it's important to indulge your desires, after all. Without desires, your ego can't grow. Without an ego, you're no different from a doll. So be frank with what you want as you attend this academy, and live how you see fit. Thank you. I understand you so terribly well now. I never get to chat with others this much. It's nice. Life at the academy may be tough, but I know you'll be able to adapt to it right away. Let's speak again if our paths cross. And remember, I'm expecting great things from you. Ta-ta! Wake up! Please, open your eyes! <clears throat> He seems all right. Yeah. You're okay. You're really okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. 
You okay? Can you stand? The mist is too thick. Let's move. Stop. Hold up. <sighs> I'm beat. I think I'm actually dying. Can't go on. You're out of breath already? We barely moved. You really should exercise more often, Dr. Kakeru. Who's got the time? I'm a weak old man. You trying to kill me? Uh, with Nozama, was it? It's Nozome Hinata. You work here. The least you can do is remember the students' names. Hey, I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Besides, I'm more used to calling you Prez anyway. So much has happened. I couldn't find you for a week. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm so glad you're okay, though. When we heard a student collapsed on the second floor, I never imagined it'd be your brother, Chio. The second year building is connected to this one. Maybe he came from over there. Hey, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What are you talking about? We're at Shin Mikado Academy, of course. Wait, you really can't remember? What's your name? You remember that much at least, right? Wait. Chio, I thought your last name was Aikawa. Um, well... Our family isn't exactly a traditional one. Ah, I see. Can you remember anything besides your name? Family, friends, anything about the school? Anything at all? No. <coughs> I'll bet whatever made him collapse is also the cause of his amnesia. Well, the mist does tend to drive people crazy. We don't know much about it. It's bad for people with weak respiratory systems, though. Like Chico here. Uh, my name is Chio. But despite all that, your little sis came all the way here to see you. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You understand what I mean? Man, you forget your manners, too? You're the last person I want to hear chastising people over their manners, Dr. Kakeru. The least you could do is thank her. Don't 
Don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've had our little breather. Let's move. We should hurry on out of here. There's no mist on the first floor. It'll be safer there. She's just unconscious. What about the rest of you? Everyone all right? Interrupting my interlude. <sighs> Hurtful heathen, deranged devil, sadistic, sadist. You may refer to me as Vanitas. Can you at least 
pretend to be petrified? You really put me off my game here, pal. Power is not a present to be provided. Pacify your predicament personally. These dastardly dissidents are demons. Lackeys of their lowest level, legions. But even the lowliest legion would leave a lack-witted lug like you lifeless. I, however, possess a plethora of power. Prostrate before me and pray I spare you. Show me the delightful sight of your struggle to survive this plight, and I just might. Hey! Have you heard even one single word I've said? Go at them unarmed and you're as good as dead. You are utterly deranged. Can't you just let me give you my cryptic, mystical spiel? A facade with no memories within expectation, but no manners or sense of self-preservation? Gah! Enough! Dealing with you is giving me a headache. I cannot lend you strength, but I can still assist. After all, fate is static. It'll always persist. in a magic ear, your soul made manifest. You'll need it in the other world to make it through the rest. The power of vanity is yours for the taking. A reflection of your ego, a fiend of your making. Now go and kill those things already. Here I go. Analyzing. Here I go.
understood. <laughs> Where are your calls, your cheering cries? Return to your world now. Go! Claim your prize. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. With that, farewell and adieu. Bring your ego and power to bear against the irrational and unfair. One, Nozomi Hinata, blind old savior. Hmm. 
This is... the Academy? We made it back! Is everyone all right? <sighs> Perfectly fine. Just a little bruised. Conscious ever since you answered that weird phone call. I'll take Chio to the infirmary. You two go on down for now, okay? All right. Let's get going then. We can talk about the other world later on. And what were you doing on the second floor, former student council president Hinata? Hello, Kurama. I thought I declared any areas overrun with mist off limits. I await your explanation. You there, do not interrupt me. I thought you were an unfamiliar face. You mean to say you're unaware of what transpired with the student council? Then allow me to debrief you. After the mist, barrier, and other anomalies appeared, the last student council tried to dispel the chaos with the faculty. And yet, said chaos has only increased. It was then that a savior appeared to quell the unrest, rallying the students with his overwhelming charisma. That savior is none other than I. President Kurama Hitotsubashi. Hinata was relieved of her duties, and at the behest of all, I took on the mantle of Student Council President. So what say you, Hinata? How does it feel to see how much more capable I am in comparison? It's true. I was inadequate for the demands of the office. I commend you on acknowledging your inferiority. Now, why did you enter the mist? Well... He collapsed within the mist, so you ventured in to save him. And this was with Dr. Kakeru Hasegawa and Chio Aikawa? Yes. I see. So you placed both the Academy's doctor and a middle school student in peril. Your foolishness astounds me. You should have come to me. As your student council president, I would have rescued him in a safer manner. <laughs> you may no longer hold the position yourself, but you still set a poor example by behaving this way. I believe some discipline is in order. What say the rest of you? Agreed! <laughs> Pardon the interruption. But would you mind if I borrowed this young man and Miss Hinata? We have urgent matters to discuss. Well, well. If it isn't Ms. Sora Jingu, our beloved Dean.
Yoru. My name is Sora Jingu. Are you quite all right? You! Did I not warn you about interrupting me? Dean Jingu, we must consider impeaching Hinata for violating Academy regulations. Impeaching? Of course, it truly breaks my heart to punish one of my peers, but order must be maintained in our Academy. Hmm. No further action will be required at this time, Mr. Hitotsubashi. Thanks to you, of course. And not just from me. The rest of the faculty and student body are all very grateful to you. I'd hate to see you suffer from the guilt of punishing your peers, even if it was done out of responsibility. Surely it'd be fine to let it go this once. <laughs> As you wish, I'll leave it at that. We wouldn't want my judgment clouded by grief, after all. Come along, everyone. To the student council room. Yes, yes sir. Remember, Hinata, there won't be a next time. Well, that takes care of the rank and file. Why don't we have a chat in that empty classroom? I see. So you were dragged into the other world after answering a phone call in the mist. There's just one thing I need to know. How exactly did you... How did they flee the other world and make it back to here? Is that the question you seek to ask, O oh woeful overseer? Vanitas? A demon? No. A monarch? How did you get into this academy? I am the answer for which you strive. Vanitas, the being who helped them survive. A demon? Helping? Hm. So that's how it is. Did you make a pact with a demon in exchange for power? An authority, so to speak. And what did you wish for? Beset by the legions with nothing to give. No wonder he asked for the power to live. So you weren't actively seeking to become a pact bearer. I sense that someone managed to return for being drawn into the other world, but this, I never imagined. To think a new pact bearer would emerge as a result. If I may ask, what sort of authority did you receive? The authority of vanity. I've never heard of that. Perhaps it's an aberration of some sort. You're surprisingly knowledgeable about all this demon and otherworld stuff, Miss Sora. That I am. But extenuating circumstances prevented me from talking about them before. These secrets are normally reserved for the head of the Jingu family, as is the position of Academy Dean. However, seeing as you already know, there's no point in hiding things any further. I'll answer any questions you have. There are seven demons known as monarchs, one for each sin. 
As progenitors of lesser demons, they are of the highest order. If they make a pact with someone, they are then able to provide their pact bearer with an authority. In order to make a pact, one must have a cause, a strong ego, the ability to perceive the other world, and a wish. But vanity is an aberration. It isn't one of the deadly sins. Your pact with that monarch was incidental at best. Consider a far-fetched goal, curing an incurable illness, for example. Reality can't be changed no matter how hard you wish. But if someone learned that the power to overturn reality existed, would they be able to resist temptation? Even if such power came from demons and gave rise to widespread distortions, Powers from the other world are against the natural order. Continued usage of them will cause our world to distort. The mist, the barrier around the academy, the calls from the other world, all are byproducts of a pact bearer's authority. So please, unless the situation demands it, I ask that you avoid using your authority on campus. The Jingu family has maintained balance in the world ever since the Academy's founder discovered the existence of demons. We've attempted to prevent the emergence of new pact bearers at any cost. And yet they've appeared regardless. We are currently aware of at least seven others. Voiding their pacts is the only way to put a stop to these anomalies and restore normality. Might I ask you to use your powers for the welfare of our academy? I believe a pact bearer of your circumstances would be perfect for this task. Please, bear with me. Your compliance would be appreciated. You have my thanks. Huh? Now then. Would you prefer a detailed explanation on how to void the packs, or will the gist of things suffice? While exploring the mist in the Academy, you will receive calls that connect you to the other world. There, you will find crystals known as ideals. Shatter them, and it will render the pact bearers powerless. Though it pains me to ask this of a student, the fate of our academy is in your hands. <laughs> Good luck. Mr. Vinitas, I would appreciate if you concealed yourself around any students who are unaware of the situation. Your appearance would cause a great deal of panic, to put things lightly. I'm here for the boy, so don't worry your head. My only concern is what road he will tread. I'll take that to mean you intend to behave. These are reference materials about demons, pact bearers, and the other world. Give them a read when you get the chance. I'll be taking my leave now. Chaos never ends, does it? Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Nozomi Hinata. I'm a third year here at the Academy. Nice to properly meet you. Thank you for your help in the other world. You're the reason we were able to make it back safely. When you defeated the Legion Horde, you earned some spirits as a reward. You can use them to upgrade your power's effects, or for items to use in your otherworld treks. Speak to me should you ever seek to spend your spirits.
um If you are going to travel through the mist and fight the pact bearers, would you mind if I came along? I can't fight like you do, but I might be able to help in some other way. I just don't want you to carry this burden all on your own. Thank you. The mist is spreading upward through the second floor of the building. Why don't we head to the infirmary first? We should explain things to Chio and Dr. Kakeru.